Good morning and welcome to Enfield's Clean Energy Expo. My name is Doug Lombardi and I'm a member of the Enfield Clean Energy Committee. Today, consumers in Enfield and throughout surrounding towns are joining all of our exhibitors to learn how to become more energy efficient and save money. If you would like to learn how to make Enfield a greener community, come to the expo today or go to our website at www.cleanenergy.net. I'm Bob Iskerzat from the Competitive Resource Company in uh, Wallingford, Connecticut. We're a home energy solutions vendor for uh, CLNP and all the other utilities in Connecticut. And we're here at the uh, Energy Fair today uh, talking to people about the program that we do, which is called Home Energy Solutions. We do a full energy assessment to your house. Uh, we come in, do what's called a blower door test, where we uh, depressurize your house and measure how much cubic feet of air we can pull out of the home. Then we'll go back and repair those things for you. As part of the program, we also offer 25 energy efficient light bulbs, some water saving measures, some rebates on new appliances or insulation if you need them, and all of that is part of the program. Uh, you pay $75 as a copay. Uh, the rest of the cost, which is anywhere between $500 and $1,000, is all subsidized through the Connecticut Energy Efficiency Fund. Hi, I'm Joe Petrisky from Lantern Energy. Uh, we are located in Norwich, Connecticut. We are actually one of the approved vendors through the Connecticut Clean Energy Fund, which is actually uh, being sponsored for the town of Enfield. Uh, we are actually the vendor who's going to be coming out to your house and performing the HES weatherization audit. Um, what that's going to entail is actually us going into your house and making sure we can capture all the air leaks that you're going to have in your home. Um, part of that program is going to include us changing light bulbs, um, doing water measures, and the nice thing is if you're an Enfield resident, major a portion of the proceeds on your copay is actually going to go directly towards the town of Enfield. Um, we'll actually take a look at insulation values in your home and give you some weatherization upgrade possibilities through and that are offered through the Kinetic Clean Energy Efficiency Fund. Um, you can check us out on the web at lanternenergy.com or contact us at 1-877-878-3006. And again, um, lanternenergy.com is our website and you can log on right there and actually sign up through there. This is Kevin Sullivan from Chestnut Hill Nursery and I'm here today at the Enfield High School talking about energy. And the unique thing is we're going to talk about energy in the managed landscape, which at times we forget the value of how important your yard is, your lawn is, and trees are. Current statistics today prove that three trees in your yard could save up to $250 in energy cost. So the question might be, how does that happen? Well, here in the Northeast, an amazing dynamic has transpired in 1960, only 17% of our homes here in southern New England had air conditioning. Today, it's 65%. A major cost in your energy use in your home today becomes the cost of cooling. So what does trees and shrubs afford you in your yard? Three trees placed on your east and west windows, which is a common mistake made. People are placing them in the incorrect windows, will afford you 20 to 30% coverage of the mass of your house. And these are a lot of numbers, but what it actually does is every day reduce your energy use. The ambient temperature underneath a mature tree could be as much as 25 degrees difference from the temperature above the tree. That happens through evapotranspiration. Another amazing statistic in the winter months is you often wonder why you prune the shrubs around your house and you have a foundation planting and it's tough to mow around. But it has been shown here that having a foundation plant of a two to three foot height will reduce the heating cost in the area around your sill plate by 15%. The great news is every time you plant a tree, you also save energy in other places. So you look at it and you say, how does that happen? Well, you're stopping the erosion of the soils. So that means downstream complications. We don't have to clean the sound as often, the streams as often. The other advantage of having a tree in your yard is you encourage wildlife. What does that mean? 
Well, you're not spending as much on pesticides because believe it or not, every time a bird or a squirrel or anything comes through your yard, you're actually helping the environment. So we look in the managed landscape today as we're saving water, we're saving electricity, we're saving oil, and we're also saving the environment. What do you like about being a Cub Scout? Um, we do fun activities mm -hmm. and we have a lot of fun. We're um, raising money for the Cub Scouts by selling um, a bunch of goodies and snacks, um, water bottles, Coke, Pepsi, what, what uh, and doing? hot dogs for, we're selling. So what's your favorite thing here that we're selling? I would have to say like the donuts. The donuts? Hi, I'm Fiona from Sunlight Solar. We're a uh, solar installation company. We install photovoltaic systems and solar thermal systems. We're based out of Milford, Connecticut, but we go around to the entire state, and we've actually done a few right here in town in Enfield. Uh, our contact information, you can contact me at fiona.stewart at sunlightsolar.com or call 203-878-9123 for uh, a free consultation on a solar to see if your house is solar friendly. Uh, thanks very much and go green. Okay, well again, we're uh, Novatech and M Systems and we make LED lighting products for the commercial market. And our website, if you want to look at it, is www.msiled.com. All the products are LED, low energy, um, you know, eco-sensitive. I guess that's the big word, green. You know, and uh, get, you know, you can see it all on the website. Gene? Yeah. You go to the website, and then you get a real good feel of what we can do, what we've got. And then, if you can call us, if you've got specialty lights that you want changed, especially outdoor uh, configurations, that's our forte. So give us a shout, and we'll look at it. I'm Melissa Everett, and I've been here at the expo, uh, updating folks on the green jobs picture, which is uh, pretty dynamic here in Connecticut. Um, the state is number eight on the Clean Edge Index for. Uh, states that have really made an advanced commitment and are showing results in uh, clean energy and related technologies. Um, we've talked about energy in the workshop. Uh, we talked about how it's not just the direct technologies for uh, conserving energy, using it efficiently. It's not just the renewable energies, although everybody's finding that very exciting. But it's also the energy that is embodied in the way we transport waste to New Jersey or the Philippines or where they recycle it. It's energy in the moving of water, which is like 20% of a lot of communities' energy budgets. It's energy in the transportation of food that we get from far away. And so the bandwidth of opportunities in the green economy to conserve energy and resources is vaster than we typically realize. Uh, we talked a little bit about the companies that are here in Connecticut. Uh, didn't talk as much as I should have about the, the universities and hospitals and, and nonprofits, but you know, consider Siemens, which has an enormous range of, of research, including working with Singapore as a, a test bed for clean technologies. Uh, consider United Technologies and all they are doing. Um, and then consider small companies. Here at the Expo, there are bunches and bunches of energy companies. So the um, example that I used is a building materials company that actually deconstructs and salvages building materials. It's called Urban Miners out of New Haven. Um, that's the spectrum of opportunities that people can pursue. You know, it's not easy, any of it, but people have learned how to move themselves forward. Uh, people in this economy have become pretty resilient, so I was delighted to be with a group of people who were realizing that they had everything from energy expertise to QuickBooks knowledge and that it was going to get them through and into a new opportunity.
My name is Don, I'm with Glen Martin Industries. Uh, we produce solar systems and install them in homes and businesses. Uh, we have a unique solar tracker system that uh, we have designed so that it can create enough power to actually power your home with electricity and heat your home. Uh, we've we've uh, teamed up with Mitsubishi and we're able to offer their M-series heat pumps that will provide air conditioning and heat for your home powered by the sun. Um, so a lot of people that may be heating with oil have the opportunity to now heat with the sun. Uh, you get the sun heat, the sun beats on these solar panels all year long. CLMP is your bank. They store your extra power. They give it back to you in the winter when you really need it. So we have a, we have a unique tracker system that uh, allows us to produce a lot of power. Doesn't require that we put any holes in your roof. Doesn't require that you reshingle your roof. Uh, but you can um, install one of our trackers. It'll follow the sun all day long and make a whole lot more power than you can make by panels on your roof. Great. And how can we get a hold of you if they want, anybody wants to find out more? Well, um, uh, our, our company is located in Tallinn. As a matter of fact, uh, the owner of the company is just walking in. So with our heating system, it's a air source uh, heat pump, very similar to geothermal, but uh, much better pricing. Uh, we can do an install on an average home for uh, under $8,000. And our tracker with grants uh, turn out to be, we're trying to get it around a $300 a month, $350 a month payment, no deposit, $350 a month. Uh, so uh, just a diversion of your funds. Instead of taking your monies and giving it to the oil company and to the power company, now you own your own power plant. You own this heating system and it really sets up your home for future. Uh, we're going to see an increase in fuel over the next 10 years. Uh, we're, we're expect to see at least 50% increase in current pricing of today. Hi, Rich Folk from Evergreen Energy. Uh, we do uh, solar, wind, and geothermal projects in Connecticut. Um, our phone number is 860-628-8151, and our email address is www.evergreenenergy.pro, P-R-O. Hi, my name's Cindy Matusik, and I am here at the Enfield High School with Joey. We represent People's Products, which is located on 252 Hartford Avenue in Newington. Our website address is www.hr40.com. If you are interested in saving major energy dollars on your windows, we offer that service. We also offer gutters, decking, roofing, and siding. So give us a call or check us out on the web, www.hr40.com. And thank you for being here. Uh, technology is improving, and we now have, in the past three years, worked out uh, our system to really be uh, efficient, affordable. Uh, it is, uh, I think it's superior to a roof mount because of the power that it can produce. Typically, as much as 100% more than a roof install. No weight on the roof. We're not against a roof install, but uh, a roof install requires a weight to the roof, holes in your roof, um, snow problems. Our system automatically dumps the snow off of it. Our system goes flat in a high wind. Uh, footprint wise, it's 25 feet by 25 feet roughly, but up high. We, you, know, you can't even touch our panels, they're up high. So if you have 0.25 of an acre, that's plenty of land. Put a system in the backyard. Uh, get off of fossil fuel and uh, help decrease our country's dependency on that product as well. I think that's a good national security as well. So there's a lot of benefits. Yes, hi, I'm uh, Bob Maddox and I'm with a company called Sterling Planet. And what Sterling Planet is, is an opportunity for anyone to sign up to support clean, uh, renewable energy from wind and small hydro, some of that hydro here in Connecticut. If you happen to be a customer of Connecticut Light and Power, you now have the opportunity to sign up to support these resources um, and help direct where your money goes so that we can build more. Um, you can learn more on our website at www.sterlingplanet.com. My name is Peter Governale. I'm the president of Tuscan Design Build Incorporated. I also work for the Connecticut Clean Energy Finance and Investment Authority as a geothermal inspector for the state of Connecticut, inspecting all the geothermal uh, applications that uh, want to receive uh, federal dollars in the ARA program. 
I also teach at uh, Naugatuck Valley Community College in the uh, solar and building sciences and a certified BPI instructor uh, teaching uh, students throughout the state uh, to, to become uh, building analysts. So I also run my own business uh, doing commercial audits and also uh, installing solar PV, solar thermal, geothermal, building construction, and it's 30 years construction business. So they invited me to come down here today in Enfield. We were trying to help uh, homeowners and uh, property owners to realize the benefits of saving energy and also to understand uh, how those energy systems work. Um, it was very informative. It was good to have a, a good group uh, here today of uh, local residents and even out-of-towners were here, which is very, which is very encouraging. So we kind of focus quite a bit on uh, spending more of your money on uh, the easiest return on investment. So for example, setting back your thermostats one or two degrees if you can, uh, doing air sealing, uh, changing out your lights, uh, cleaning your refrigerator uh, coils, uh, getting that dust out so your refrigerator can work more efficiently. Uh, things like that that people kind of overlook sometimes. Uh, very important taking shorter showers or low flow shower heads. Uh, then at that point, people always ask, well, okay, what if, I, what if I do all those things? What's the next thing I should do? And then we encourage uh, folks from there to, to go to the renewables if they can. Heating and cooling is the most costly, uh, uh, as far as it costs homeowners the most amount of money. Uh, but unless your system is ready or in very poor condition, we, the next step we tell people is go to a solar, solar thermal application. So if you have, especially if you've got a lot of children in the house and you take a lot of showers, Solar hot water is the next effective way uh, to save energy. And the uh, state is continuing to offer rebates and is also federal tax credits to boot. So the payback is, uh, is very reasonable within uh, uh, six to uh, nine years on that. Uh, then after that, uh, obviously, we, we always encourage ground source heat pumps. If you're building a new home, uh, you should do that. It has 30% 30, 30 tax credit. Um, <clears throat> ground source heat pumps are very, very energy efficient. It's very comfortable whether you want radiant heat or, or, or air source heat. Uh, so that's a very good thing. And we do, when we do our design and engineering, we do combi systems. We'll take solar thermal and geothermal, and we can actually build houses or, or retrofit existing buildings to, to supplement their systems with solar energy. Uh, then the last thing, the very last thing you want to do is actually solar electric. If you've done all those other things first, because the solar electric is like a reward for saving all your monies on the heating and cooling side and the electric side, uh, you've upgraded, you've really saved the low-lying fruit. And now with the uh, program the State of Connecticut is offering, uh, very soon we, we anticipate it'll be uh, 30 megawatts of electricity for the next 10 years on the residential side, then another 30 megawatts on the commercial side. So there's going to be a lot of solar coming down the road. And there's only been six megawatts installed uh, in the last several years. So it's quite a bit. We know countries like Germany, for example, have more than 20% of their electricity from solar. Um, so they're, they're kind of a world leader in that, and China's getting really close to that too. And the prices of solar panels have coming down quite a bit. Uh, so it's very, very good, especially if you have roofs sitting there and, and with, with sun hitting it, it's like free energy coming to your home. So we, we encourage the homeowners to kind of look into that, examine those uh, features. Anytime you do any capital improvement onto a property, Energy efficiencies and renewables should be considered uh, in the forefront. Pete Scaglarini, Jerry Rum Nissan, here demonstrating the Nissan Leaf at the uh, Energy Expo down in Infield, Connecticut. Uh, great day, great cons people here uh, trying to lower their carbon footprint. Um, the Leaf here, as you can see, is your home charging system. It's something that you would have in your garage and uh, charge your car at night when the electricity rates are low. Um, it's an all-electric car, no gas, no tailpipe, no emissions. I'm Rebecca Olson. I'm here with representing social services for Town of Enfield. We have our handy little calendars with our recycling tips today. And in order to get in touch with us, there's a few different numbers. Um, neighborhood services is 253-6396, or the main office for social services is 253 
6395. And they can help answer your questions about things you can do um, through the town, and they can refer you to whoever you might need to talk to about recycling, uh, reducing, reusing, um, because all those things are very important for our town. And, and less cost, less taxes, everybody's happy. So. Hi, I'm Tim Lockwood from Northeast Energy Partners. We're on 174 South Road over in Enfield, Connecticut. Um, we have three companies here at the fair today that we're representing. Northeast Energy Partners, which is for commercial and industrial customers. Uh, save money on their commodity, on their electric bills, and natural gas as well. Uh, and two new companies still at 174 South Road. Uh, one is Curb Energy, which is energy audits for businesses where we help lower your actual usage on your bill. <clears throat> and another company for residentials, your home building called uh, Rate Droppers. And that is a website-based company. You can go to www.ratedroppers.com, uh, sign up to a lower rate lower than the CLMP's rate currently, and a portion of all the proceeds from every sign-up goes to help homeless children. Uh, we've partnered with a nonprofit called Birthday Wishes out of Newton, Massachusetts, and we help homeless shelters here in Connecticut with that, uh, with the proceeds. So, again, it's uh, Northeast Energy Partners, 174 South Road, and uh, ratedroppers.com. Visit us on the web. Thanks. Good afternoon, folks. My name is Bill Brown. I'm the owner of Eco Attic Guard Reflective Insulation Material. I'm here at the Enfield High School today at the Expo, and I've got a product I think you might be very interested in. It's, uh, it's called Radiant Barrier and Reflective Material. What it does, simple fact, is it doesn't absorb heat like mass insulation does. It reflects it. Okay, so when this is laid on top of the existing insulation up in your attic, it's going to reflect the heat at 120, 130 degrees that wants to get into the house in the summertime, keeping your house cooler 12 to 16 degrees. Now in the winter, because it's breathable, it reflects the heat back into the home, keeps the heat in the house, keeps the attic cold, preventing ice dam situations and, and ice melt, and it retains the heat in the house, saving you energy in that situation. Uh, it's an Energy Star product. It's unaffected by mold and moisture because it's not a paper product. Um, it's it, it's an amazing product. Um, now I have another one here. It's a double bubble material. This is used primarily for uh, basements, hot water heater wraps, crawl spaces, uh, anywhere where you have a hot and cold exchange. I use this above garage ceilings that have are adjacent to uh, living spaces above. They have cold bedroom floors. This will knock the cold right out of the floors. I mean, this stuff is amazing. If you want more information, I'd be happy to uh, supply it. It's www.eco-attic-guard.com, and it's a very informative, non-biased website. Take a look. Feel free to browse some of the videos and the testimonials, and uh, I think you'll be very impressed. And it's an affordable product as well. Thanks for your time. Hi, my name is Rebecca Meyer, and I work for Connecticut Light and Power and Yankee Gas. And um, Connecticut Light and Power and Yankee Gas both administer energy efficiency programs on behalf of the Connecticut Energy Efficiency Fund, which is paid for by you, um, the residents, businesses, and towns that uh, serve, uh, that live in Connecticut. And every time you pay your electric or natural gas bill, you pay a small fee, a, a small conservation charge that goes into a larger fund. And we run residential, business, and educational programs that um, help promote energy efficiency and help you save energy and money. And also, as a side benefit, protect the environment. Uh, today, uh, just we were talking about uh, home energy solutions. Specifically, the uh, town of Enfield is working with Connecticut Light and Power and Yankee Gas, the Energy Efficiency Fund, and two of our home energy solutions vendors, Competitive Resources Inc. and Lantern Energy, in providing home energy solutions to all the Enfield residents. And for every Enfield resident that signs up for home energy solutions, they are going to donate $25 back to the Enfield Clean Energy Task Force so that they can continue to provide um, the type of events like today, the Clean Energy Expo, and also do a number of outreach events. As part of that, Home Energy Solutions, what is that? That is a program where we come out to your home, uh, CLMP authorized contractors like Competitive Resources, Inc. and Lantern Energy. They come in, they do a, a, a performance guided test of your home to see where there are air leaks. And then not only do they tell you that where your air leaks are, they actually um, seal them up using caulking, weather stripping, um, 
And also, they come in and replace up to 25 of your incandescent bulbs with compact fluorescent light bulbs as well. And they also test the efficiency of your appliances and insulation. And this is all for a $75 copay. But what you're really getting for $75 is close to anywhere between $500 to $1,000 worth of services as well that make your home more energy efficient. And that helps you save energy, which is good for the environment. But most of all, I think for uh, residents and businesses, is it helps you save uh, money on your electric bill. And you can use that to uh, um, go on vacation or, or try something different. So that's one of the number one pro programs we're talking about today. We have a number of other great programs, retail lighting. Every time you go into Home Depot, Best Buy, Home Improvement Store, you see a compact fluorescent light bulb or light emitting diode that's on sale. That's going to have a little sign next to it that says, brought to you by the Energy Efficiency Fund, which means that we marked down the price before it even got to the store shelf. So um, residents in Connecticut, you can buy CFLs, light emitting diodes, a lot cheaper than um, other state residents can. And um, we also have a um, Smart Living Catalog website where you can go online and buy energy efficient products. That's smartlivingcatalog.com. And uh, we also talked about our residential new construction program and all the rebates that we have for natural ga gas hot water heaters and also all of our HVAC systems too. So the, the, that's basically a, a synopsis of all the programs that the Energy Efficiency Fund and CLMP and the Yankee Gas bring to you. Hi, I'm uh, Dan Kleiman from uh, the Enfield Home Depot store. Uh, these are some of my partners, Joe and Mindy. And we've got Bruce over on the other side there. And we're all here representing the Home Depot at the uh, energy uh, show here today. Uh, basically to show that uh, Home Depot offers the consumer, the do-it-their-selfer, uh, a lot of products for energy conservation from light bulbs to insulation, thermostats, um, and other products to uh, save energy in the home. Also, uh, for the folks that don't feel confident doing it themselves, we do offer our at-home services, which uh, will do basically any home improvement project, including energy conservation projects, that. Uh, the consumer might want. Uh, so just because you don't feel confident doing it yourself, we can still help you out with that. Um, looks like we're getting a great turnout here today and um, it's something I think we're going to be doing again in the future, judging by the success. So um, we're looking forward to seeing anybody here in the store come see us and uh, we'll uh, help you out with any of your projects. Hi, I'm Albert Grant. I'm representing PACE, People's Action for Clean Energy. And we're an organization that's been around for about 30 years. And initially we were an anti-nuclear organization. And then we decided that it was better to be for something than just against something. So we've been educating people ever since on the alternatives to uh, dirty energy, clean energy, and conservation. And uh, one of our main activities is to post solar house tours around the state and we have a couple of them a year and uh, they're just to show off what people have done to uh, have energy efficient and uh, standalone houses sometimes and sometimes just measures that help to mitigate their costs and the uh, better for the environment. And our website is really the best way to get information and that's www.pace p a c e hyphen Clean Energy, C L E A N E N E R G Y dot org. And uh, we have links to lots of sites, installers, marketers. Uh, it's kind of a clearinghouse of energy efficiency. Hi, my name is Mike Emmons. I'm with the Scanic River Watershed Association. We're an organization here in Enfield, Connecticut, which uh, manages the watershed going all the way from Hamden, Mass., through Enfield, Summers, um, East Windsor, South Windsor, all the way to the Connecticut River. We hold events, hikes uh, along the Scanic River in Enfield, East Windsor, and manage cleanups and conservation of the watershed itself. If you want more information on our organization, please go to srwa.org online or look us up on Facebook. And we can, we're always looking for new members and can get you plenty of uh, information if you email us at srwamembers at gmail.com.